Hi guys, I just wanted to do um, kind of a short little tutorial today. I wanted to show you the difference. I want to show you why, if you want that wispy look, why you need to use the back of photo paper if that's what you're going to paint on. This is just a piece that I cut off um, of a, <laughs> a piece that I really messed up on. Um, this is the matte side. This is the side you want to paint on, the back side of the paper. I don't know if the camera can catch the, you can see the glossy. This is the glossy side. All right, so let me show you really quickly what the difference is in the sides. This is just a little bit of the Tim Holtz Ranger wild plum color. Um, just randomly picked a color and that's a really pretty one. So that works for me. Alright, so remember this is the matte side, the, the back side of the photo paper, you know, and here's just kind of what you would normally be doing. Very, very messy. Sorry, I'm trying to do it a little quickly. And you can see how, you know, with the back side, you're able to get that ink to feather out, get that kind of thinned out, smoky look, you know, fade it back into the rest. Sorry, I'm trying to get this little spot of ink here to dry so I can turn it over. I got a little too much alcohol in there. Alright. So you can see, you know, you get that little wispy edges, and you, know, you can see the <laughs> little water beads. Don't step on me. Yeah, um. Sorry, got a granddaughter running around in here right now, making a lot of racket. Um, okay, so now I'm going to flip it over and just show you the glossy side. The different, oh, good heavens. I've got uh, splatters everywhere. It's the third bottle of ink that I have knocked over today. I'm not sure what's going on with me there. Um, all right. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to do it the exact same way that I did on the other side. Just put down a little alcohol and one drop of ink, or two, <laughs> however many at once. Now I don't know if you guys can see it, but see, I can already, I can see under my cuddle here the initial drops where I dripped it on there to start with. And it gives your ink a really cool shiny look, but um, you know, since photo paper is made to absorb ink from a printer so that it'll dry quickly and uh, not smear. Alright, so now we're going to do just like we would the other side. So do you see how little of that is coming off? And anywhere it touches, it's going to stain. And you are not really going to be able to get it back off of there again. And the alcohol doesn't seem to want to flow over this good right now. I think it's 
seconds when we get it, too. I'm having to blow the ink much farther in on this one, into the center, blow the alcohol into the center to get it to pick up enough ink to even try to spread the ink out. So see now, I'm, I'm trying to show you here how what happens if you try and spread out your thinner part, so you wanted it a little bit more wispy looking, you wanted to thin that out a little more, yeah, it's pretty much impossible. So, so see here you can see it as soon as it, I my hands, as soon as it touches the paper on the glossy side, the side you would be printing on if that's what you were using it for, it just sucks it right in and uh, and you can see there's you cannot get rid of the hard lines on this now see look at the difference on the other side I could have done a little better job of spreading this out but um, I really just wanted you to see the difference in how you can get the soft lines or basically no line at all just sort of a fade um, versus the the hard lines that you're going to get with this and you can see where the ink ran out right here and I went over that part trying to smooth it back out but it uh, just won't work it just gets absorbed into the uh, photo paper way too quickly to be able to move it around now I don't know I, you know if I absolutely flooded it with alcohol on that side it might work a little better but why bother when the other side works perfect so you know you can do your own playing around and your own experiments with it and see if you do decide to get some photo paper um, make sure that it does not have a watermark on the back of it there and I have actually heard that some photo papers um, will not work for this that the back sides of some will not work I don't know why I have this is um, Office Depot brand. I'm gonna, I'll show you the package. If anyone happens to live near an Office Depot, um, that right there is what I have been using. Just the standard photo paper with the glossy side. Um, you could use the premium. Might be a little bit thicker, a little bit heavier, but um, for me, this worked great. Um, I do have um, some of the Costco brand photo paper ordered, uh, Kirkland. Yeah, Kirkland brand. Um, I've got that ordered, hasn't come in yet. Hopefully we'll be here within the next few days. And, um, you know, I'll find out then if there's any difference. I have heard a lot of people say they really, really like the Kirkland brand for doing this. So, all right, so I'm gonna have to end this because the noise level in here keeps getting higher and higher. Um, quite a bit of running and giggling through the room right now. Not sure if it's picking it up for you guys. Um, but once again, thank you for watching. I hope that, uh, you know, that helps you a little bit understand why you use one side of the paper or the other. Um, let me know if there's anything else you guys would like me to do one of these little kind of mini short tutorials on. I'll see you all soon.